Hello, I'm Ryan F9, and here are some gift ideas for tourers. So, all I know about my beloved motorcyclist is that they go out for days or weeks at a time. That makes them a touring motorcyclist. Whether they're on a Goldwing or a Ruckus, doesn't matter. So what can I buy for my long distance warrior? Well, my first idea is the Oxford Rain Seal Oversuit. There are a lot of rain suits on the market, and around 90 bucks, the Oxford Rain Seal is smack dab in the middle of them. In my opinion, anything cheaper feels like a glorified garbage bag, and anything more expensive is too expensive for something that's gonna sit in my backpack 99% of the time. I like the Oxford because the material is thick. I don't have to worry about tearing it every time I brush past a foot peg or something. I also love that this is a one piece. A, because that's one less opening for rain to get into, and B, it actually takes less time for me to throw the whole suit on when I'm standing by the side of the road in a hurricane. On that note, the lower leg zips aren't quite as tall as I'd like. It makes it a bit of a pain to squeeze on over motorcycle boots, but not impossible by any stretch. The rain seal also comes in black, by the way, just in case the UN decides that this diabolically bright high-vis is, in fact, inhumane. What else can I say? Um, it's got a soft collar, which feels nice on my neck, and it fits true to size. Just match whatever size of motorcycle jacket your gifty wears, and the rain seal should fit over top no problem. The rest can be taken care of by the adjustable Velcro on the cuffs and ankles, plus this belt at the waist. Oh, and it has two waterproof lapel pockets, one of which it actually folds into to make the world's brightest fanny pack. The Oxford Rain Seal is the snow globe of touring gear, kind of boring and unwieldy most of the time, but really nice when shit starts flying around in the air. Next gift idea, and a much cheaper one at that, is the Best Biking Roads app. This is great for touring riders because when you go to places that you've never been to before, it's really hard to find a decent road. So the BBR app shows me the best riding routes near my current location, no matter where in the world I am. Now, if I'm more of a plan ahead kind of guy, I can also search for routes wherever I want to end up. To be honest, the interface isn't as good as it could be. The biggest shortcoming is that the routes only come as GPX files, so I can't have Google Maps actually read out the directions for me. But alas, Best Biking Roads is the app that most tourers use. And when you rely on users to post the routes, the photos, and the videos, then popularity counts for everything. This app costs $5, by the way. It's the chocolate orange of touring gifts. Cheap as hell, but always popular. Next gift idea for tourers is the Oxford Hot Hands Heated Overgrips. These are brilliant as a gift because they'll work on pretty much any motorcycle as long as the bars are 7 eighths of an inch. And if your gifty has two left hands, well that's no problem because installation is a cinch. Just velcro the overgrip over the grip, <laughs> um, and then this cord here runs over to this controller which you mount onto the handlebar using the zip ties provided, um, just like that. And then from this guy, the cord runs down, I put it through the searing stem, and then it makes this connection here to the battery cables, which I run up through parts of the sort of fender in there, under the seat, and then it hooks onto the battery back here. Now, I did a full proper installation in about 10 minutes. It's really not that hard. The majority of my time was actually spent zip tying back the excess wire because there was a hell of a lot of it. When you're touring in cold weather, this is worth its weight in gold, frankincense, and myrrh. It pumps a huge amount of heat. In fact, one of my only complaints is that I have to turn them off periodically because they get too hot. The major downside though, is that they make your grips really chubby. But with such a simple install, everyone just removes them during the summer anyway. Now they're 80-ish bucks, two-year guarantee, legendary build quality, you can't go wrong. Fourth gift idea. The Scorpion Tray Pants. I tested these during the Can-Am review, and to be honest, I wasn't expecting much. They're a two-year-old remake of the Scorpion Deuce, which itself was nothing special. Yawn. But I've got to say, the tray has become my go-to touring pant. I've got a full ballistic nylon chassis, and then I have foamies up on the hips and at the knees, the latter of which is backed up with CE-approved viscoelastic SAS Tech knee armor, so that's all good. Scorpion's not reinventing the wheel or anything here, but they're rolling along just fine. The comfort is good too. Accordion stretch at the knees helps to articulate the fit. And then there's some adjustability at the waist and at the cuff as well. There's also a hemmable inch at the bottom. So if you don't quite nail the fit for your gifty, that's no big deal. My favorite thing about this pant is the cut. It's a bit slimmer than a typical touring pant, especially down around the boot, which is great because if you're anything like me, you'd rather not look like GI Joe. And before you go thinking that it's therefore impossible to put on over motorcycle boots, well, check out this full-length zipper. Then there's something you can't see. Versatility. With this inner waterproof liner taken out, I've worn the tray at 30 plus degrees, no problem. Makes a really good mesh pant. But if I leave the inner liner in, then it also makes a really good rain pant. The biggest rainstorm I ever rode through was in this guy. 
diabolical downpour. The highway stopped like that because it flooded out. You couldn't see a thing. I was soaked absolutely everywhere, but my legs were still dry. The waterproof liner also does a pretty good job of keeping you warm. With a pair of long johns under this pant, I rode to our last group ride at about zero degrees Celsius. Pretty darn comfortable. Around 300 bucks, the Scorpion Tray isn't the cheapest touring pant, nor the most expensive. And yes, there are way more technical options out there too. I guess the Tray is the figgy pudding of touring gear. No one knows why tours want it so much, but we won't stop until we get some boom two holiday references in two seconds. And finally, I have a couple gift ideas from previous holiday videos that are also relevant here. Don't worry, I'm gonna do them fast because nobody likes seeing the same thing twice. First, there's the Airhawk R seat pad from our cruiser video. Blow some air into it, stick it under your butt, and you won't be saddle sore 12 hours later. Great for touring riders. No contact points down the middle for all your sensitive bits, plus lots of air channels for keeping cool. Also, the bladder on this Airhawk R version is made out of rubber, while the Airhawk 2 is made out of plastic. Rubber is better, plastic is cheaper. Your call. Still time for a holiday joke? Okay, the Airhawk is the fruitcake of touring gifts. It's dense, comfortable, and you'd rather sit on it than eat it. Next, an encore appearance for the battery tender USB charger. If you've only got 15 bucks to buy me a touring gift, uh, this is the one I want. You just hook it up to your motorcycle's battery, and there you go. I'm a mobile charging station. Cameras, GPS systems, cell phones, anything that uses a USB port, I can charge it. It's no holiday miracle, just a simple and effective device that every touring rider can use. There is a socket version if their bike already happens to have a 12 volt outlet. If not, get this one, but beware that the hookups are not included. And that's it for my favorite touring gifts. I counted five lame holiday jokes. We'll see if we can do better next time.